evening. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Governor Cuomo requiring law enforcement across New York to take a look at their practices, what's working, what's not, and what can be changed. The city of Syracuse says it has already started working to build relationships with the community and the police department. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith joining us live outside City Hall right now with more. So, Adrian, how's it going to work? Christy, we'll have to see. Mayor Walsh and Chief Buckner both stressed today that there has been a lot of progress made when it comes to effective police reform here in the city of Syracuse due to recent policy changes. But they still both agree that there is work that needs to be done. And where that starts is addressing those several issues at hand. Governor Cuomo's executive order requires local governments and police agencies to develop a plan that enhances and modernizes police strategies and programs within the community. The deadline for that is April 1st, 2021, but Syracuse Police says they're on the right track towards effective police reform. I think the Syracuse Police Department is a professional organization. Uh, like any organization, we have opportunity for improvement. Uh, there are things that we need to address with our community that have been a part of uh, historical complaints uh, and we need to look uh, both inward and outward in our, into our community to address some of those issues uh, but I think it starts with the dialogues that we will be having in our community uh, to have those things formally brought to everyone's attention and then begin to work on them. Now, this executive order doesn't just apply to the Syracuse Police Department. This is a statewide mandate that all local agencies and police departments need to follow. Otherwise, they'll lose state funding. Live in Syracuse, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. Right, and more specifics on that. Today, the governor signed a sweeping package of police reforms, allowing the release of officers' disciplinary records, banning police chokeholds, and making it easier to sue people who call police on others without good reason.